back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I thought I would make a little kind of recipe-ish video, kind of just showing you four different vegan plant-based breakfast ideas. Breakfast is probably my favorite meal of the day. I just really love breakfast foods and I came up with some of these recipes on a whim. Some of them I make all the time, but I hope that you enjoy and let me know what other recipe meal idea videos you want to see next. Okay, for the breakfast grilled cheese, I started by adding some just egg to a pan with a tiny bit of olive oil just so it doesn't stick. Then I topped that off with some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic seasoning. You can add whatever kind of seasoning that you prefer. It's completely up to you. Then I just started scrambling it a bit until it was thoroughly cooked and I just sort of scooted it off to the side of the pan and laid down a few pieces of vegan bacon. I used the Sweet Earth brand bacon. It's like called benevolent bacon or something. It's really good. And then I just cooked that on both sides. Then I took two pieces of sourdough and spread some pesto spread on one side, which is totally optional. You can add whatever kind of spread you want. You can add butter, hummus, or like add anything and then I added two pieces of vegan cheddar to the other side then I topped that side with the egg scramble and the bacon pieces along with some greens and tomato slices you could also add avocado or mushrooms if you want to it's totally up to you then I basically just cooked the whole sandwich as if it's just a normal grilled cheese so I heated up some butter in a pan and added the sandwich to the pan making sure to get all of the sides coated in the melted butter it's just easier that way instead of trying to spread the butter on the sides of the bread after I've made the sandwich so I just cook it with butter instead um, I also usually add a lid to the pan to allow the cheese to melt just make sure that you don't burn your bread so don't leave it on too long and that is basically it it is super easy and honestly one of my favorite breakfasts to eat it's also pretty high in protein between the vegan egg and the vegan bacon I am obsessed with peach cobbler. It's probably one of my favorite desserts and it's also such a fun summer recipe. So I thought why not turn it into a pancake breakfast dish. I started off by peeling a peach, which is actually a lot harder than it sounds. So of course, if you're making this for more people, you should use more peaches. But since it was just me eating it, I just used one peach and that was plenty. Then I just sliced the peach into thinnish slices and added them to a pot with a tablespoon of sugar. And I heated that up until the peaches started to get super juicy. Just make sure you stir them often so that the sugar doesn't burn and don't heat them up too hot. Then for the crumble, I literally just mixed some rolled oats, cinnamon, clove, and brown sugar together and I heated it all up in a pan with some butter until the oats got crispy. It's kind of like making homemade granola, which you could definitely use your own granola if you don't want to make the crumble yourself, but I would recommend adding some cinnamon or extra spices so that it tastes more like a peach cobbler cup peach cobbler crumble. Okay, I will have my super easy extra fluffy pancake recipe written in the description. It is my go-to vegan pancake recipe and it's literally like five ingredients. It's so, so easy. So I just whipped up some of that pancake batter really quick and I scooped some onto a pan. And then I put a few slices of the peach mixture onto the wet pancakes so that the pancakes would have peaches cooked into them. Just make sure you leave the rest of the peaches so that you can put them on top of the pancakes after. Then I just cooked them like normal pancakes and once they are ready, I added them to a plate with the cooked peaches, oat crumble, and the best part is you can use the remaining juice syrup from the cooked peaches as a syrup. The only thing that I forgot was a big scoop of vanilla ice cream, which I feel like is a must. Um, and I highly recommend, I just completely blanked and forgot to have that. Or whipped cream, like whip, whipped vegan coconut whipped cream would be amazing. Okay, for the breakfast tacos, these are seriously so easy and they only take like five minutes to make. So I just started by dicing up some tomatoes, cilantro, and slicing an avocado. Then I added some soy riso to a pan, which you can find soy riso at almost all grocery stores. And I just cooked this through and then I crumbled some tofu on top to kind of make a little tofu scramble. You can add more seasoning if you want. At this point, I added only a little bit because the soy riso is already pretty flavorful on its own and the tofu kind of soaks up the flavor from the soy riso, but it's totally up to you. And then I just heated up some corn tortillas on a pan with a little bit of oil and then I just assembled the tacos. I also added some peri peri sauce on top. You can add salsa, vegan sour cream, or anything that you want. These turned out so good and like I said, they were like incredibly easy to make.
Okay, last but not least, we got vegan chicken and waffles. For the chicken, I used oyster mushrooms, and I will add the recipe for the batter that I used below, but it's basically just water, flour, and seasoning. And then for the dry batter, I used just flour and seasoning without the water. I used Spiceology's fried chicken seasoning, which is really, really good and I would recommend, but you can use, you know, like paprika, garlic, um, a blend of spices. It's, you know, very customizable. So then I just divided the oyster mushrooms into sort of medium-sized bunches and I coated them in the wet batter first and then the dry batter, making sure to get them all completely covered. And then I just place them in a pan with some vegetable oil. I let these fry until they're brown and crispy on the outside, making sure to get every single surface cooked so you're gonna have to like turn them with tongs on every side. I have to be honest with you though, I don't think I cooked these long enough. Even though they were crispy on the outside, the inside was a little bit raw still, so I definitely recommend leaving this in for a little bit longer, even if they look crispy on the outside. Um, so that's the only part where I went wrong. I'm not very good at frying things. I'm not very experienced with it. So, you know, I tried. So for the waffle, I was a little bit lazy and I just decided to use a pre-made vegan protein waffle mix. So I just made the batter and then I added it to my little mini waffle iron, which is super cute. I made little mini waffles. And then the last step is to just whip up some maple aioli, which is essentially veganaise, maple syrup, and some lemon. Um, it turned out to be a little bit more runny than I anticipated, so I just drizzled it over the top. Um, the flavors were amazing and the texture was great aside from the inside being a little underdone, but super good. Highly recommend all of these recipes. They were pretty easy for the most part and just overall like really fun. It's not your normal green smoothies and avocado toast. Okay, so that is it for the recipes, but I did want to talk to you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes on tons of topics such as graphic design, illustration, animation, creative writing, photography, and more. Whether you're a beginner, pro, or just a lifelong learner, Skillshare has classes for everyone. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. One of my favorite classes right now is Writing for Self-Discovery, Six Journaling Prompts for Gratitude and Growth by Yasmin Cheyenne. I personally love it because I'm sure a lot of you know I really love journaling and journaling prompts. I love writing about my gratitude, reflecting. Journaling is like a huge part of my daily life. So it's really fun to hear someone else's perspective and get some more insight on journaling and other ways to journal. Skillshare is created specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's new live classes so you can experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. So if you would like to try out Skillshare for yourself, the first thousand people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below which breakfast meal recipe was your favorite. And again, I will have the recipes in the description below. I obviously don't really measure things very well, but it'll be kind of roughly down there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.